Women's Self-Defense and MMA in Fort Worth in Keller, Texas. Last week, they had the airing of the first ever Ultimate Fighter, which aired with women and men both fighting to get into the house to eventually become the Ultimate Fighter winner. This is a new twist on a show that's been around for a long time now, where women were given the opportunity to fight for a six-figure contract in the UFC. The one neat thing about this is it shows the effectiveness of mixed martial arts training for women and how it helps them be more prepared if they were to face a self-defense situation. Unfortunately, many martial arts give women the false hope that they're safe as long as they know how to defend themselves on their feet, which could be nothing farther from the truth. Mixed martial arts shows that with a decent level of takedowns that anyone can take anybody down to the ground and then from there if you don't know what you're doing then you're basically as Carlos Machado would say a fish out of water so the ultimate fighter gave us an example of that where you could watch the women competing almost all the fights ended up on the ground most ended up in submissions um, the decisions or TKOs when you look at the real world women usually are way smaller than men so in a self-defense situation you're going to have to know how to get up off the ground, how to defend yourself on the ground. That's one of the biggest benefits of mixed martial arts training is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, where women learn how to defend themselves on the ground, how to get back up, how to survive, how to apply submissions, how to escape. So to me, that gives women the biggest advantage in a self-defense situation. Hopefully, women never have to face that, but unfortunately we know that there's a lot of situations in this world that aren't the best people out there who actually try to hurt people so I highly recommend if you're a woman and you're looking for self-defense and a great way to get in shape meet new friends and have a lot of fun check out Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and of course mixed martial arts and Muay Thai so you can learn all the different martial arts I never recommend learning just one martial art and that's one of the huge, the biggest benefits of mixed martial arts is you get to learn stand-up grappling wrestling everything in between so go check out a certified Mixed martial arts gym in your area and get started training.